So what we've got here is a brand new box released just today from Costco, a four pack. Normally Google announces one pack, two pack and three pack. One pack is for $1.99, two for $2.99, three for $3.99, a good drawing. But this one is four pack for $4.49, a bigger deal from Costco. So let's see what we have here. If you open the box, it's an interesting way to open it. Uh, you, you gotta make sure you kind of flip it on this side. Now, we have got four pack. The box looks really small, so I don't know where the four units are, okay? Uh, but let's see. I think it's a very compact packing, so there should be two more right below this. There they are. Let's take them out. And as you can see, there are four power charges, and this looks like uh, we have an Ethernet cord uh, for the main main. Any one of these can be treated as a main router, and the remaining will become the points as as they connect into a mesh network. So let's take all the all the plug points out. So this is what we have from the box: four units from Costco for just $4.49. Now the main thing you want to see is they have two ports identical across all the units but the left one is the one for WAN, okay, otherwise it's all identical. So let's see what's on the box, 6E, 1 gigabit Ethernet ports, Wi-Fi Pro, and it should cover up to 8800 square feet. Let's get more into details with this. So let's see how to connect this. We have Nest Wi-Fi Pro. We should be getting the internet from a ISP, right, through modem. Connect the modem to the WAN port, which is a globe looking port on the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. As you can see a globe there. And on the right side, what you see is an extension port. So take that extension port dotted thing, right? shows extensions, so take that extension and either put it to a switch to get more ports or you can directly connect to the other Nest Wi-Fi Pro as well. Now realize one thing, Nest Wi-Fi Pro is wireless, so you can always go wireless between the two units, but if you are wired, then go through wired, either through a switch or directly. Now the reason I use a switch is because I want to have a PC and a TV connected uh, to my uh, Nest Wi-Fi Pro directly uh, instead of using Wi-Fi and that's why I'm using a switch to extend the number of ports I can get here. So this is a typical connection. Make sure when you connect the Nest Wi-Fi Pro, you put it to the WAN port or the Globe port to extend to the next Wi-Fi Pro if you're doing a wired connection to the other Nest Wi-Fi Pro. So that's how you need to connect multiple Nest Wi-Fi Pro to expand. And when you expand, remember each unit is giving you 2200 square feet. So each unit will help you extend 2200 square feet more and more. So if you just want like 4000 square feet, you can probably use two units and uh, probably sell off each other unit for like $199. Uh, uh, right, so that's an option, uh, but overall you should get a coverage of 8800 8, square feet uh, using this. Right, and like I said, if you don't want to use any of the unit, you can take one unit and sell it off for $199. Now, let's understand what we are getting in Wi Fi 6. Remember, every standard is backward compatible, so we are in Wi Fi 6E, and as you can see here, the latest and the greatest standard that we have got in Wi Fi. Now, I'm jumping from Wi Fi 5 to Wi Fi 6. So I'm getting almost a three times jump in my speeds within my router and devices. The main thing here in Wi-Fi 6C, as you can see, is getting the six gigahertz uh, spectrum, which is a brand new spectrum added by FCC that will allow you to go much wider, uh, much wider lane on your traffic, giving you a very high speed, almost double than the six and almost triple than the Wi-Fi 5. So this is what you should uh, expect in the latest standards now. 
This router is the best deal on the current standard and if you want to get it back from Costco, I'll put a link there. And you don't have to worry, your devices are all backward compatible so you can have an older device that will still communicate. And you can use the best encryption standard WPA3 as well, okay? Now realize that the WAN port is limited to one gigabits per second, which is most practical speeds that you will find in US. So you're mostly covered. If for any reason you have more than one gigabit per second, then you can look for some better router, but this is the best that you can get based on current standards. I plan to do more real life testing with my network and see how my network performs. So please subscribe to support the channel and see the future videos. Thank you.